Hi, this is Steve. Welcome back to Scale Model Kit Review. In this video, I continue to build the Aston Martin DB5. Now, this is the movie car from James Bond, Goldfinger. Now, I am on stage 72. In 72, I assemble the rear part of the body area, which includes the rear seat and the trunk area of the car. It's referred to as the rear wing. And uh, you need to follow how I do it in this video. It's a little unclear in the instructions on how you do this, so if you follow my video, you'll just do fine with this part of the build. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started. Welcome back. Let's look at the build instructions for stage 72. And as you can see here, we have uh, lots to do here. I will continue the assembly of the rear section of the car by fitting the trunk and rear shelf together, then fixing them to the rear end of the car, or what they call the rear wing section, which is the back end that we just played with on the taillights on the previous issue. So we want to make sure we have uh, uh, the parts that are required for this. And then the instructions themselves over here. Uh, we assemble the rear trunk section, so we need to get that out and that we assembled previously. And we're going to install the rear shelf section on that. And then that's going to uh, install the, the hinge cover itself. And then combine the rear shelf and trunk lid sections and the electronic parts to the rear wing. And that's all we'll be doing for this stage. So let me get the parts out and I'll be right back. Here's the parts for stage 72. I've got a lot here in the bag. So let me take these out and I will be right back. Here's a close-up of the parts and of course this is the rear trunk. And what they mean by a rear trunk electronics in the instructions is we actually have an on and off switch for our electronics. And you can see that it's already mounted for us. Just to give you a close look of that. There's a three other parts that I'm going to pull out so you can get a closer look at those. So I'll be right back with those. Here's a close up of the other three parts. And we have the interior panels left and right, and these go on the rear side. You can see they already have a seat belt attached to them, and uh, that's what they look like there. Both sides. And then we have the trunk lid hinge cover panel. And we did not receive any screws with this issue, so remember we actually did not use some of the screws in the previous issue, so I'm sure we're going to use them here. I'll be right back. Let's get started. And before we begin, we'll need to gather the couple of parts that we assembled in previous stages. The rear shelf assembly, and that's this right here. If you remember that, it has a speaker in the back side. And it's pretty heavy. We got a combination of metal and plastic here with this component. And then we have, of course, the rear trunk lid with the uh, bulletproof shield. If you remember that, and we did a full build with that. And you remember how nice that that worked for me. Now to assemble these together, go ahead and put a cloth down so we don't scratch up anything. turn this over here just like that and what happens here is our trunk lid is going to lay down right in that channel right there so you can see right there and we're going to put a panel on that the panel we received here and that's going to go down, it looks like,
and slide that in. That's going to cover the hinge area. Slot right in with three holes. You can see it so it locks in right there. And we're going to be putting in two C screws on the very end here and an L screw on the back end. The L screw is a little bit longer and it looks like it goes into plastic because that's the type of a screw it is. So I'm going to lubricate where the C's go because they're going in the metal. And the L, since it's going in the plastic, I don't need to worry about it. Put our first C in. Tighten those down here in a second. So, get a better grip on this so I can tighten these down. And one more here. These are very tight. But I think it's for a reason. You definitely want to lubricate them. And lastly, our L screw. Tighten that one down. Perfect. And that's How that works, lifts up, and of course it would lock in on this to keep the lid open. And of course that opened up my, that's pretty cool. And that's how that works. I'm going to go ahead and secure these wires out of the way on the sides with some uh, painter's tape, low tack tape here. Kind of like that. Just like that, just to keep it out of the way. And that way I'll be able to remove the tape very easily after the trunk assembly is installed. Next they want us to install the trunk assembly underneath. And the trunk assembly simply mounts to these two holes right here. And it's going to go down just like that. And but first, before we do that, we're going to need to uh, install this into the back end of the car. It's just going to make everything easier. So when I'm, when I'm doing that, I'm going to snap this in place right here like we did before. There you go. That's snapped in, keeping the truck lid open. And then we'll turn this over. And it's going to go in first through there.
There we go. Okay, so we'll take the trunk lid, make sure it's lined up, just like that. I'm going to take some painter's tape to it. And I'm going to tape it down. Just like that. Alright, so, it's taped down as best as possible here. And I'm going to put two Two A-type screws are going to go into this right here. The A-type screws go right here on each side. You need to lubricate it first. Because we are going in the metal. And just make sure everything lines up like it's supposed to on each side into those pins. And you can see these little pins on each side got inserted all the way. And I'll go ahead and put my screw in. Got one in. Do the other side here. That's tight there. Get the other side tightened down. And that is tight there. Next we'll take our trunk and we'll put it in on where it needs to go. And just like that it goes in there. It will mount to these two holes here and two holes on top. And going into plastic and metal. And before I put them in, I'll put my Vaseline in. 
and the other two are going in the metal. Then I'll put this back down on it. That's basically our trunk assembly. Remember we put L, L screws. There we go. L screws into that. there and these other two points right here and right there we put a type screws into those You can probably see that from the side camera there. the other A screw over here. And that's tight. Here we go. And I'll go ahead and pull my tape off. wiring's out of the way now. Now turn this over. You can see our trunk lid is still taped down. I'm going to remove that also. And that's how that looks. I think it looks great. Everything's secured underneath. And put that back down. And that opens up. Just like that. It's a little touchy. I like it though. It stays down like it should. And there we go. That's how that looks. Love it. Let's go to the next step. And there you have it. That completes stage 72. I've enjoyed this a lot. It's, everything's coming together. The rear end of the car looks fantastic. 
trunk lid works like it should along with the uh, armor plating on top. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I could use every subscriber possible. By doing so, you help get the word out for me and I, I get noticed out there on the YouTube community and I'll get more, more people looking at my videos. Anyway, uh, head over to EagleMoss.com and subscribe to this car today. It's fantastic. And stay tuned for Stage 73. We're going to continue on. We're going to build more onto the back end of the car here, or what we call the rear wing area. And it's been a blast. I'm having a lot of fun with this. So happy modeling, everybody, and take care.